Hey everyone, it's Brittany with Redeemable Junk, and I'm coming to you guys today to show you how to make these adorable envelope notebooks. I have been selling these envelopes by the load, okay? So I thought I would make a video and show you guys how one way to use these. Um, they're just cute little notebooks that you can put into your pockets of your junk journals. They're made out of just standard vintage envelopes that I've been selling, by which if you would like to go buy some, you can purchase them on Redeemable Junk Journal Sales Facebook group. So I have a bunch, so just let's pick one that we're going to make. This will be another quick video as always. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy to make, but this is just an envelope. It's a vintage envelope and it is torn open on the top which will make it a pocket once we sew our pages in on the top so they can put stuff in, which is super neat. So what you'll need is just some paper that fits into your journal. I've already pre-cut these and I picked out five of them. And you're just gonna want to fold each one in half, which I've already done. And you're gonna fold your envelope in half. And this isn't exactly in half, that's okay. I like the vintage look and I like them not to be perfect. And you're just gonna set it in there. And then you're gonna do a pamphlet stitch or you're gonna take it to your sewing machine, which is what I am about to do. And you're just gonna sew it down the middle. So I'm gonna go and sew this real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I have that sewn down the middle. So I'm just gonna cut my threads off. And I kind of like them hanging out a little bit. And I have this little pocket on the side that opens, and I really, really like it, but I just, I need to decide if I just want to keep it or if I want to glue it shut. Yeah, as you can see, I have a pocket up top, and then I have another pocket over here, okay? And then it's just a little notebook. And now we're just going to decorate it, and that's pretty much it. They're pretty easy to make. So I picked out a piece of antique lace, and I thought it would be super cute to glue on the side. So we'll go ahead and decorate this together. I have a little bit of an idea of how I want to decorate it. I am going to cover up the stamp and add my own stamp because all the others, I just left them, but this is from Canada and I'm wanting to put this in my French journal. So I'm going to cover it up and put a different stamp on it, but it really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to cut the excess lace off the top and the bottom. I do like it to look vintage, but I don't like it to look real sloppy. So and I'm just going to finish gluing this piece of lace down. So that's what we have so far. And now I have this piece of 1873 look at that date french paper and i'm going to cover up that stamp and just glue that on there and i'm not going to do a whole lot of decorating on this one i'm going to keep it pretty simple um i just need to be very careful with that paper it's very thin okay let's try this again there we go now we're getting somewhere I don't know. I'm almost afraid to use my glue stick. There we go. On this, it's so thin. And yes, I use a lot of glue, guys. I like my stuff to... I need a baby wipe to stick. Okay. I need a baby wipe, but I don't have one open. So we're just going to use the handy-dandy hand trick. Okay. And we're just going to glue that down. Now, I just got a piece of tissue paper, and all I did was crinkle it up, and I thought this was going to be so cute. We'll see how it turns out. It may not be cute in the end, but like I said, junk journaling, it can be simple, guys. It doesn't have to be, as you're getting ready to see, um, you don't have to have a ton of supplies, and it doesn't have to be difficult. A lot of people think that it does, but you can usually, you can actually use anything and I seen this tissue paper and I thought 
I needed to add a little bit of extra to this. And then what I did was I picked out some buttons, which I also sell if you guys are interested in any. And I thought I would just line those right down there. And look how it's coming together. Isn't that looking so cute with my little stamp? And voila, you guys, it's that easy, literally. I mean, you don't have to put a ton of money into stuff. These envelopes are super cheap. And there you go. You have a mini notebook. You can put this in the pocket of your junk journal. You can gift it to someone and happy mail. There's so many things that you can do with these. And it's cheap to make and super duper cute. And then your junk journal has another little notebook. In. Oh, I don't want to cover the date up though. Oh no, what shall we do guys? I think it'll look silly over there, don't you? Oh, it's supposed to be on the side. I don't want to cover the date up. Oh, decisions, decisions. Let me see. How about we just, we put it right there. That looks off-centered. I don't like that. Ah, come up. Okay. I think we're going to stick it on the side. That's my final answer. Because I want to keep the date. <laughs> and there you have it. Look how cute that is. And we made that in under 10 minutes. Literally 6 minutes and 30 seconds. And that was with me talking. We made this cute little notebook. And look how darling it is. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. And I have these other two that are a little bit smaller in comparison uh, to add to the journal. So that was just a quick video. I thought I would pop on here real quick. I haven't been making videos lately. I've been so busy. But I thought... I'm going to make it my priority to start making more videos for you guys. And I had these laying around and I thought, I'm going to make a video for them. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and comment on the video. That tremendously helps me out. Also, check out the description below. I have some information there for you guys. I hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful day.